I just want to wish everybody a happy new year uh, 2022 and I hope that you'll keep safe especially to my subscribers I want to thank them for their loyalty and their support throughout 2021 and I hope you continue to support me in 2022 thank you very much indeed today I'm going to try uh, an experiment somebody asked me if um, if I can slow the clock down uh, to you know to run slower now I've done a speed up clock thing in the past but not slowing it down and I thought of an idea I don't know if it's gonna work right now I do not know until I actually try it out but um, stick uh, stick around and hopefully we'll find out together if it doesn't work I'll still put it up just because we had a go okay let's do it then so guys I decided to make a pulse circuit with a 555 timer here um, I'm going to put the, the uh, number 8 to the positive and number 1 to the negative straight out the 7 to 8 I'm going to put 1k 6 to 7 I'm going to put 100k capacitor across from 1 to 2 LED going from 3 a resistor going be before that and then it's going to ground so that's the circuit I'm going to make right now Okay, you can change the values of these things to to uh, make it flash as you want. So, so guys, I've started, started a little bit here already, just to show you that I've connected a 2 to 6, which has to be connected, and 8 to 4, this blue wire. The number 3, I bought out up to here as an extension because I can't get the, the parts here. Number one is connected to the ground, which is this going to be a negative rail. And number eight is connected to this side, which is a positive rail. Okay. Now, seven to eight, I'm connecting a 1K resistor, um, which I'm just going to connect from seven to, to uh, positive there. because 8 is connected to the positive rail anyway. The 100k which goes between the 6 and 7 which is a bit more challenging. I'm using the 10 microfarad capacitor. The positive going to um, number 2 which is this one and the negative going to the ground a 1k resistor going from number 3 which is this one onto any slot there and then the LED going from 3 which is a positive, positive side LED going from 3 to, I mean from the resistor to the negative. Now I've done this circuit before in one of my videos so it's, it's not a it's not a big thing here but anyway so that that should work I'm just gonna connect my power supply it takes a 9 volt power supply indeed and I'm gonna connect up my negative to the negative rail And positive, positive rail. There you go. As you can see, it's blinking, but it's it's going very slow, which is what I want. Okay, so it's blinking very slow, as you can see. Now I can also connect another um, LED here between number three and somewhere I'm using a 220 ohm resistor here simply because I've got it and another LED which this time is the opposite around negative goes to number three here uh, via resistor to the positive rail and 
And now you can see they're flashing alternatively. And they take so many seconds to flash, which is what I really want. So obviously, I'm not going to use this one. I'm just going to use this side here. And like I said, I don't even know if it's going to work. I need to know what voltage is coming out of here because um, I'm going to connect it to the clock at 1.5 volts. Well, guys, it didn't work. I put uh, two wires on the battery here. And if I connect the battery directly, um, obviously it's working as you can see but um, when I connect it through this circuit it's not working that's because this is not giving it's giving the voltage but not enough current so I suppose it's back to drawing board I've um, I've supplied this from number three to be like a switch this going to positive and negative rail and it's not giving enough voltage I um, put it in series there no point me putting parallel because I don't want it to work on the battery I want it to work um, when this is switching on and off so more experiment is needed so okay I've thought of an idea since the last video and I thought I'll put a relay in which is right here I don't know if you can see it there's a relay here Okay, so I'm going to do a quick demonstration here because I got to uh, tidy up a lot of things. There, so this is a relay, and it's always all it's doing is acting as an on-off switch. So what I'm doing is putting a battery in series with the on-off switch, which should be like this. There you go. It stops when the relay is switched onto this side of the LED starts again so in a way we've got uh, a way to slow down the clock it's cheating but hey so I'll tidy it up and we'll do it again with a different clock maybe hi everyone so I've got it kind of sorted out now so we're using a relay to slow the clock down as you know if you really want to slow it down I can't do it with, with the mechanism because obviously uh, it's too hard but to slow it down, if I supply the power a uh, bit at a time, uh, depending on this circuit here, which is um, coming on and off, uh, so the timing, whatever timing this has, it is, is slowing it down, stopping the clock from uh, powering up and then starting again. The relay is only working as a switch, and I put this this battery in series with the switch going to the clock itself so the power is only going to the clock when the relay is uh, clicking onto this side and we can change the timing by capacitor resistor etc etc but not a lot of time can be changed at the moment there are other ways of making this uh, work but i figured out this is a good way to do it so yeah of all that uh, experiment i went through this is it so what i'm going to do is I'm going to wait till this uh, small hand gets to 212 and then we're going to try to see how long or how much of it is slowed down. So it's slowing it down about five seconds or so, 5.5 seconds, as I would say. So if you calculate all that, see how slow the clock actually goes. So there it is, guys. I have slowed it down so much. I mean, somebody's asked me if I could slow it down to go around uh, maybe 24 hours as of one year. But it all depends on this circuit here. If we can really, really slow it down for this clock to just go tick every so often. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this experiment. A lot of hard work went into this and uh, you know, a lot of effort, but uh, we got there in the end. And subscribe, thumbs up, and God bless you.